Before handphone or this thing, this is what, what is known as a, it's a Motorola personal cordless phone, which you carry around, but it's only function at certain places. It actually works on, uh, you need base station and those sort of things. Of course, now a uh, handphone is much better. <laughs> Before smartphone, this is a palm organizer. You can get some note, whatever you want to do every day, kind of thing. I still keep this because I uh, get a, uh, some sentimental value there. But most people will not know this is pager, I have two actually. This pager means that uh, when somebody wants to contact you, you will receive a message so that you need to call back or whatever. This is the first version is bigger and this is later on version is much smaller. This is what known as a five quarter inch floppy drive. You see, this was when first PC was launched uh, in Singapore. Okay, I don't even know where it opened now. Uh, let me see. Okay, this is a floppy. What do you call a floppy disk drive? The one piece is like that. This is where the computer head read, read write the information. And what you do is, you just slot it in and turn the lever, that will lock it. And then after that, you type on the computer, whatever, you see a light here. And so this is basically how we use. Uh, it's limited capacity, but uh, it's the best you can get at that time. So this is the, the, the first, very first, this drive that we have. There's no uh, social media or whatever at that time. Music actually comes in what cassette tape. So to play this, you have a player. I got two here. Like just what you do is just press this, not in like that. Uh, okay. So this tape is actually two sided. It means that when you play forward and backward is different thing you see then to play you have to press here before i retired i was a it database administrator basically my organization deal with maps the first step is we have to digitalize all the map the paper map into the system rather than referring to paper map it's very messy <laughs> With the advancement in technology, the map actually gets smaller. Everything is, can be contained in a handful. After I retired, I decided that uh, I had to keep up with all these things. Things are advancing very fast, especially with apps, smartphone, all those things, so I had to keep up. After retirement, I volunteered with Land Defenders. I went around picking some people to use tablet. I want to learn. Because now they can play around, they don't have to worry about cost. Last time was cost is a factor, now cost is very low. So today I'm going to tell you how to use the phone only. Okay, press, just press. Don't press too hard. Just press. Just press. Just tap like that. Uh. So you get ah uh, the green color. Ah, uh, okay. Then you key in the number you want to call. Yeah, they press here or not? No, no, no need. No need. A lot of these seniors, even making a phone call is a struggle. Unlike the home phone where you just press button, now the handphone is all touch. Obviously the older one is not comfortable with touching because uh, the problem with touch phone is that if you touch too light, it won't respond. Some of them, they learn, but they say they will not use. <laughs> then you call, okay? Then you wait a while. Uh, then your phone ring, right? Ah. Ah. So you, you want to cut off the call, you just press this. Okay, then it cut off ready. Okay. So Uncle William, have you used this phone before? Have you used smartphone before? No, I haven't been the first time. 
Why, why haven't you used it before? Not interested or? Because I don't have, I own a phone, a handphone. <laughs> because you easier to carry, so but this phone is used for simple one, I don't, not, not so many complicated one. But this handphone I don't use, it's so very complicated. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, so I have to use this one, simple one. When the small phone, I don't have this side, I just want to call my friend, I just press the phone number, quick, quick, like, like, like. <laughs> see. I do have to press this and that, press that and that. Mm. At present, I still haven't used it. You have to, so have to practice, la. Ah, practice. Practice, la. practice. Practice, practice. Ah. As you said, room is not built in a day. Mm. <laughs> if they teach me, I'm so happy. Mm. <laughs> but maybe some say, ah, you're so slow. They fed up, they don't teach you. Uh. Hard to say, difficult to people, Different people, different way of thinking. See, maybe I'm slow, la. I learn things slow. So they don't think. They, they can't tolerate it, lah. See, they be, they give up learning, teaching me, lah. So, what to do? <laughs> learning to use an app, actually, they can learn, lah. As have to uh, help them to overcome this uh, the fear of it. Right? It's supposed to be very easy to use, but it turned out to be a struggle for them. Right? So you have to be very patient. For the very old generation. We do what we can. I use transport app, like checking bus schedule, how to get from point A to point B. I also use e-payment a lot. Currently, I'm using GPay, Google Pay, so it's very convenient. Technology actually brings a lot of convenience to people. So accessibility to information, will be more readily available in future because the cost and the speed of information is going to get much better. I won't be able to understand the whole concept, but wherever possible, I will learn and try to use it. Technology cannot wait. We have to keep up with the world.